Hello, welcome to another session of Active Living. My guest today is Anna Stubing, who is the Programming Supervisor for Orion Community Center. Welcome, Anna. Thank you. Glad to be here today. We are going to talk about all of the wonderful things that are planned uh, for uh, the community to participate in at the Orion Center. I have to tell you, Anna has outdone herself. <laughs> We have a lot of interesting things going on. There's a lot for um, seniors, but there's a lot for adults, and there's quite a few things for families. So I think I'm going to turn it over to Anna and let her tell you some of the really neat things that's that are going to happen here. Thanks, Evelyn. I'm really glad to be here today. With over 35,000 Lake Orion and Orion Township residents here, we're striving to do all kinds of things for the, at the community center. There's a whole team of us that are working diligently on doing um, things for families, things for children, things for our seniors. Is one of the things I specialize as events and trips for our seniors. So it takes the whole team to make this go. We have a lot of new events coming up. Some of our events that are coming up uh, within the near future will be closet cleanout. Um, again, I want everybody to remember, we do send these out to Lake Orion residents. There's a wealth of information in here. So if you'll check that and give us a call if you have any questions, that'll be great. When I you also come in week, monthly, there is also a monthly newsletter that's available to tell you what specifically is going on this month. Um, that's sort of condensed go version. Ahead, Anna. Go that ahead, That works Anna. real well. So Jennifer, who is also a program supervisor, puts quite a few events together too as well. One of the newest ones we have coming up would be Closet Cleanout. Um, this is an indoor garage sale and a lot of fun. It is free to our residents and everybody that likes to come in. We do charge for your tables, so if you want to do an indoor garage sale, we do all the advertising for you and you can come in and shop. Now that was free advertising, <laughs> and I'll let you know, there is a group of uh, knitters and crocheters right. here on uh, Mondays and Thursdays, and we crochet for charity, but we also sell our products, and we will be selling these at the closet clean out uh, to raise money, to buy more yarn, to make more things for charity. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, another thing we have coming up too, which is one of our bigger events, is Ladies' Night Out. We have such a great time. There's food galore. We have a Tim McGraw impersonator that comes in and does a fabulous job. We have over 42 vendors that come in, and there's everything from soup to nuts that you can buy, jewelry, uh, china, all types of things. So if you'll come and join us for that, we'd love to have you. It's a great night out for ladies. And gentlemen, too, if they'd like to attend. We also have our Made in the Mitt. Um, this is Michiganders doing arts and crafts for Michiganders. So please come and join us for that. That is in the beginning of October. If you'll give us a call, we can get you more information. And if you're interested in being a vendor, we'd love to have you. Now getting more free advertising. <laughs> the Knitters Club will also be selling our products <laughs> at, at Made in the Mitt. <laughs> Perfect. They make wonderful dishcloths. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the dishcloths are pretty cool. Um, returning again is Boo Bash, one of our favorite events for kids. Um, the kids have a wonderful time. We have crafts, we have prizes, we have games for the kids. Um, we have we sell out every year, so if you're going to come out with us um, to spend the evening, please make sure you get your registration in early and get your kids registered. So that's some of the big ones we have. Of course, we have Cookies with Claws. Don't forget Cookies with Claws. Santa comes and um, he'll be here for the kids. Again, games and prizes and a great photo op too with Santa. So we'd love to have you out. Some of the fun things to do. I would like to talk about or have you bring up um, <laughs> some of the things, family events that you've got. There are quite a few really good family events coming up. Um, interesting things to do with your family, uh, interesting things I think for your children to be involved in. Absolutely. So um, Anna, go ahead please. 
Um, we have a new gal on our team, Jennifer Fruck, who has brought to us a series of classes. Um, one of the family fun ones is Nuts About Nature. It's an all-family series where you can get your kids out outside. There's things to do inside for them. So if you'll check that out in your outreach, we'd love to have you. There's also a pumpkin carving party that we're having. We're also having a haunted hay ride, and this is for adults only. So if you want to bring your husband Ooh. out for a night out on the town, this is the perfect one to bring him to. Um, a couple of other series that we have, um, Leave No Trace. Um, awareness of the outside and what you're bringing um, to our land and what you're taking away. Also, we have a baby sign language class that's great too. Um, we do the snowmobile safety classes. We do some mixed media arts. We also have a kids and adult mosaic tile class. So if you'd like to come in with that. We do the um, beginning horseback riding in which we work with Times Square uh, Riding Academy, and you can sign up for that too as well. Quite a few ones coming up. If you'll check your outreach, I'm sure you'll find some new things that you've never seen before. When she says outreach, she means this magazine, this green magazine that you get quarterly. Um, I really behoove you to carefully check all the pages because there is so much information in here. Um, sometimes it's easy to miss something interesting, so maybe you want to go through it twice. <laughs> now, for adults, um, we have some really, in oh no, there's some more family things here. That ballet and jazz. Yep. And tiny dancers. Tiny dancers, that should be a really fun one to yeah. bring your kids out to. Um, also, sweet. the snowmobile safety one's coming out, and babysitter training and home alone training. So that'd be a good one to get involved in. Mm -hmm. And there's kitty soccer. Kitty soccer. There's a whole series of sports events and classes that you can take with your kids. Um, Rebecca, who's new to our team, has brought in some really fun stuff for your kids to do. So check us out. I like this baseball for squirts. <laughs> that should be fun. And uh, start small, start smart baseball. Absolutely. But this baseball for squirts, <laughs> I probably have to go watch that. That sounds like an awful lot of fun. Then we get into more of the adult fitness. They're going to keep me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. We have some Zumba classes, and then we have a series of uh, yoga classes that are free on September 16th. So if you'd like to register, we have three different ones going on that day. Maybe we'd catch you in the morning or the afternoon or even the evening. So we'd like you to come out for that. The Zumba classes are always a lot of fun. The gluten-free classes that are coming out, that series should be a lot of fun. We also have a CPR class, too, for adults, if you'd like to come out. And then we do have our Senior Health Works a Home Sweet Home series on how to make rolled truffles. So that should be a lot of fun. <laughs> You'll go home with a few just before Sweetest Day. I know how to make truffles, but I'm coming to the class anyway <laughs> because it's chocolate. Because it's, it's chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> also, um, we have a turkey pot pie demonstration. What are you going to do with all that turkey when you have it left over at the end of your Thanksgiving dinner? We have a suggestion for you. And we all are also doing a fall accents and design. So if you'd like to make a beautiful arrangement for your Thanksgiving table, we have Jill, who is the owner of a new leaf flower studio in Lake Orion, who's going to come in and show us how to put one together, and you will all walk home with one that day. It'll be pretty. It'll be very pretty. Yeah. You have something else new that uh, we've never done before at the uh, Orion Center, is a whole series of senior health works. Uh, I, I really want you to check your magazine and look at them because they're different every uh, every week. It, it's a different subject. It'll be every Friday in October and we are doing that series um, starting the beginning of October, the first Friday. We'll start out with a hearing screening from the Crittenton team. Also the following week we'll do a glucose and diabetes, a memory screening, and then ask the nurse. And then we will continue that also in November. With November we have endometriosis endometriosis by the Women's Excellence of Lake Orion, another hearing screening by Michigan Hearing, also Osteoporosis and You by the McLaren team of Oakland Break Free, and then Breast Cancer and You. Being aware of all the signs and symptoms and a great answer and question time. So we'd like you to join us for both those uh, series in October and November. And then to top it off, we'll do our CPR training. We do a shingles awareness as well as a shingle shot. 
So if you'll take the awareness seminar, it'll give you all the facts and questions that you need answers, as well as being ready that day for your single shots. And then we are working with Oakland County Health Department this year to bring flu shots to you and your families. I understand, or I think I understand, that you have to take the uh, shingles awareness seminar in order to get the shingle shot? Absolutely. It's a great uh, time to get all your questions and fears taken care of before you come in for your shingle shots. Well, we've got some more stuff for you. <laughs> we haven't run out yet. Um, something that should be fun <laughs> is the Orion is going to have a Michigan, Michigan State tailgate party. Absolutely. So I think you have to get your colors together <laughs> and figure out who you're going to root for although I'm assuming you already know. <laughs> uh, That'll be a great tailgate party, so we'd love to have you in, register early, seating yeah. is limited, and of course, if you're gonna wear your green and white, we'll be right with you. I'm particularly looking forward to the beekeepers. Not that I'm gonna keep bees. Um, bees and I have a nice little non-aggression pack going in my garden. As long as I don't reach over them, they don't <laughs> bite me or sting me. <laughs> But I still would be interested to know what the beekeepers really do. I've watched some documentaries on it, but I still think it would be an interesting thing, uh, knowledge to get. And that's going to be on Monday, September 16th at 6.30, and you need to register for the class. Absolutely. Um, we have some more community events. Um, Seniors, uh, f oh yes, the Senior Fall Orion Dinner Show. We're working together with Independence Township to bring you the, um, we have a harvest dinner dance. Costumes are optional. We'll be working with Independence Township to bring you a little bit of entertainment, a great meal. So if you'd like to come out for that, that's one of them. We also have a number of trips, um, senior trips and events are something I specialize in. And this fall, we've brought you quite a few. Mm -hmm. We've brought you the dinner show, um, and that'll be at Tanglewood out in South Lyon. So if you'd like to register for that. Also, we have a visit from the DIA. They'll be coming here to the Orient Center to talk to you about women in art. And we also have a $5 trip to the DIA. So this will be a cookie and coffee reception and you can wander around for a couple of hours at the DIA. You need to take advantage of this one because we don't get those $5 trips very often and it is one to take advantage of. I have never, ever missed an opportunity to go to the DIA. Absolutely. I've wandered the rooms and I'm still in awe of things that I saw the last time I was there, but I go and look at them again because they're just so remarkable. Absolutely. There is also a senior trip to the uh, Flint Institute of Art. And also the Sloan Museum across the street. And the Sloan Museum across the street. Now, I've not been in the Sloan Museum, so I'm looking forward to that. That'd be great. Um, in the Flint Institute, my particular favorite, if I'm allowed, in the very back room, and it's you have to know your way to get there, but they have wall hangings from, uh, I would be think the 12th century, 13th century. They're absolutely beautiful beyond belief that people worked that hard to weave these hangings. Oh, neat. I always visit them. <laughs> um, we're also going to the Meadowbrook to do a Meadowbrook play, and this is a Games of Foot, so that should be a lot of fun. We've done, um, we've scheduled a tour to the mm -hmm. Cars Nut Company um, and factory tour, so that'll be a little bit of fun. Then we're gonna go over to Frankenmuth and do the Scarecrow Festival. So if you'd like to join us, you need to register early. Um, seating is limited. We have a number of different senior holiday light tours that are coming up. Also, we are going to be doing a holiday Halloween luncheon. So there'll be a little bit of magic, a little bit of tricks, and we're doing a live radio broadcast of War of the Worlds from our Orion senior players. Orion so senior that'll players. be a lot of fun. So you never know what comes out. So I hope, you un I hope you've gotten the idea that uh, there is a lot going on. Check your magazine and sign up for a lot of these really interesting things. Hi, my name is Ed Ratzenberger. The Oregon Center has a Seniors Advisory Council. It is a group of 12 people who volunteer to help the Oregon Center staff with their efforts to provide the programs and services of the Oregon Center for the seniors of our community. The center would like your assistance in order to help determine the activities and services that seniors prefer. 
The center is a comfortable and enjoyable place for you to visit, to meet with your friends and to make new friends. You're welcome to provide your suggestions for activities and services, for your general observations, for your complaints, and for your positive comments. If you would like to give your thoughts to the Advisory Council, please stop by the Orient Center and deposit your comments in one of the blue boxes that the Advisory Council has made available. If you want to include your contact information, we will respond to you within a few days. Or if you prefer, we also welcome and value anonymous comments. All contributions will be discussed. We hope you will respond and we thank you in advance for your help. It is a pleasant place to enjoy and does not cost a penny to be a member. Membership in the seniors group is free. Thank you for your time. We look forward to hearing from you and to meeting you. Take care. Welcome back to Active Living. Our guest today is Anna Steuben, and she's from, she's the senior programmer, uh, programming supervisor, excuse me, at the Orient Center. And we want to talk to you some more about our trips. We have done some really interesting things and had a lot of fun. So we're going to go back a little bit to tell you some of the things that we've done. Anna? Thanks. I'm glad to be here. You know, in the past, one of the best things about this job is the trips that you plan. Um, recently, we've gone to the Weather Center in White Lake Township. We had a wonderful time. You get the behind the scenes, you get to talk to the people that actually get this weather information out to thousands of people. So that was kind of a fun trip to take, very informational. We also had an opportunity to go to Cranbrook Museum, one of my favorite places. Um, besides the art, the statues outside and the ponds were just absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we took a great team over there. We also went to the planetarium afterwards and got to sit in nice cozy chairs and look at the skies for the rest of the day. It was a great, great job. We also had an opportunity to go to the parade factory. You don't know what's involved in all those great big large heads that those people walk around. And it was an opportunity for us to be in the factory, to see how the heads were made, to see all the different things that they make through the parades, the giant shoes, the giant um, creative <laughs> heads that they have, the multitude of things that were in this warehouse were just amazing. We spent the day walking around and we all left with a clown nose. So that was yes, kind of fun. Yes, I wish I would have thought to bring my <laughs> clown nose today. <laughs> it was, I popping the enormous size of these floats. I guess on TV you just don't have the feeling, uh, perspective of how huge these floats are. That was, real, that was a really fun trip to go on. To get up close and personal mm -hmm. to some we've of those heads. We've done some other really things that are kind of pretty amazing. interesting too. We've, all, we've also gone to the Jiffy factory. Everybody knows Jiffy, <laughs> but you don't know what goes into making these boxes and producing this mass quantity of corn muffins or blueberry muffins. So that was kind of a fun trip too that we had. I got and a nice big box, of <laughs> a bunch of Jiffy boxes in it. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. A yeah. couple of us came home with cookbooks too as well. Right. Uh, recently, we went to the Detroit Zoo. It was senior day there, and we had a good crowd. Um, a lot of fun. I think it we was got a, a lot of pictures. It was a beautiful day. The weather couldn't have been better. We had a lovely, lovely day. That was a lot of fun, too. And then, of course, we went to the Tiger Game, and what an awesome Tiger Game it was. We had over 40 guests that came with us. So a couple of buses went down there and just had a great day. Peanuts, popcorns, and all the best things. <laughs> so you guys are heading to the Tigers game today. <laughs> yes, sir, we are. Are you kind of excited about that? We are. We're hoping yeah. 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 It's going to work. Is this one of your first trips with uh, the Orion uh, seniors, or have you been on a few? Every one of them. <laughs> every one? No, every baseball. Oh, well, really? Here's the Lake Orion gang Go for... Tigers! Go Tigers! Go Tigers! All right. We did have a lot of fun, so that means there's a lot more coming up. 
Um, we're going to the Flint Institute and also the Sloan Museum, which I think is one of your favorites oh, yeah, too definitely. as well. Um, we're also going to the Scarecrow Festival in Frankenmuth, so that should be a lot of fun. A little bit of walking, but a lot of fun. And also we are going to the DIA. The DIA is doing a wonderful cookie reception for $5, so we're hoping to pack a bus, go down to the DIA and spend a little time with art. And not forget the nuts for nuts. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going down to the Cars Nut Factory. That's right. Cars Nut Factory would be a lot of fun. It's kind of nice to go through these factories and see what it takes to produce some of this inf uh, great snacks and treats. We do have holiday luncheons, too. Uh, we haven't touched on that. But usually when a holiday comes, they, they being the center, will put on a very nice luncheon for us. Um, it's a sign up. Um, everything is a sign up. <laughs> but um, there's also going to be a light tour, a Christmas light tour, which is really, as a driver, you don't get to look at all the lights. Absolutely. And this way you can sit back in the bus and just turn your head back and forth and see all the pretty Christmas lights. And then we'll stop at uh, Culver's afterwards and who knows what we'll eat. <laughs> also, we're going to the Meadowbrook Theater to see Games of Foot, so that should be a lot of fun. And one of the new trips that we are offering, we have a group of quilters. Um, we will be going um, to a quilt show, and that's coming up shortly. So that is September 27th. It is only $17 and promises to be a great afternoon. Back to the luncheons. I think <laughs> I'm stuck on food here. Um, the, uh, Orient, a Veterans Day luncheon. Oh, absolutely. Veterans Day our, would be our wonderful. Our Veterans Day is, is uh, really t done well. Um, veterans watching, if you didn't know, we do a Veterans Honoring Veterans Luncheon. It will be on November 8th. Uh, please call and sign up and, and come. We have some We'd guest like to speakers thank you that for what coming. you've done for us and pay tribute to our veterans. Right. We also do the Halloween lunch and we do the Christmas holiday lunch. So that should be a lot of fun. The Christmas holiday lunch is something our seniors look forward to every year. It is a tradition. We do have the Lake Orion Choir that comes out. So we do have a lot of fun and even Santa makes a stop. You know, Evelyn, we forgot to talk about the health club. Yes, we did. We have a health club here at the Orion Center. This is for 62 or older. You do have to have a membership for this. Um, we have some wonderful treadmills, some bikes, we have TVs, monitors up on the wall. Um, something that you might enjoy. Come at your leisure. You can come morning or afternoon. We are open from 9 to 4. We are closed for lunch uh, from 12.30 to 1.30, so everybody needs a little break. But come on in, and uh, we have a very nice, comfortable room with big, wide windows and TVs if you're interested. Um, our treadmills are great if you want to get on a bike. We do have programs for those. We have stretch bands and mats. Um, we have some resistance equipment too as well. So something that you can do at your own, piece, own pace without all um, the frills of being in a great big gym. And then too, we didn't mention, we do Meals on Wheels here and we have lunches every day at 12 o'clock. You can order your lunch the day before. We do have a phone number you can call. And we do make sure that that menu guide is on the back of your newsletter every month. They have some wonderful meals, and they're only $3 for our seniors. So give us a call and let us know if you're interested in having lunch, or maybe you want to come and exercise for a little bit. We'd love to have you. And I forgot to mention that we do have computer classes here in our library. We have an extension of the Township Library uh, downstairs. And in the library, uh, you can sign up for computer classes. Is there something you're stuck on? Is there something you want to learn how to do it better? Uh, sign up through uh, Dolores down in the library to take these computer classes. We also have clubs. There <laughs> is, uh, there's a dearth of things going on here that um, we, need, we want to share with you. We have Stay Stronger Longer exercise group. Uh, this is at your level, uh, done in a chair, uh, done carefully, uh, not um, no joint impact in this one. And that's on Mondays and Thursdays. Correct. On Monday afternoon, we have a Learn to Knit and Crochet. 
We have a group that I alluded to in the first half where we knit and crochet for charity. We make uh, sweaters and baby clothes for the Redbird Missionary Association. We make lap robes for our veterans and take them up to the Veterans Hospital up in Ann Arbor. We make scarfs and, and hats and afghans. Uh, we, j we just keep knitting and crocheting, <laughs> uh, which we sell to get more yarn to, to do more, more things. There is a pinnacle club here. There is bingo. We have a lot of people coming to play bingo uh, on Tuesdays, mornings and afternoons. Wednesdays is drop-in quilting. Have I hit your fancy yet? <laughs> uh, there's also uh, Pinnacle and Bridge on Wednesdays. Thursdays again is Stay Stronger Longer. Thursday again afternoon is uh, We're Knitting. There's a Spanish language club. Come and learn to speak Spanish. We have a Euchre Club. Pinnacle Club. Okay, how about Ham Radio? <laughs> I think you might like that. There's a Quilting Club on Fridays. Something brand new. Marjan? Marjan. Marjan. <laughs> learn how, come on Fridays and learn how to play Marjan. We have an instructor that will be here for six weeks. She'll, she'll guide you through on how to play this fabulous game. We're not done yet. <laughs> there is a monthly breakfast club. We have senior afternoons at the movies. Uh, we have a dinner club. It is so nice. As a uh, single woman, not likely to go out to dinner all by myself, I could go out to dinner with the group of friends, uh, meet up at the restaurant, and have a lovely dinner out. Nice people to talk to. It, it's a very enjoyable evening, and we do it fairly early so that we're ahead of the, the heavy crowd. There is a photography class. There's also an Alzheimer, Alzheimer's support group. And something new, we have a crafters club. We have a crafters club now that meets, I believe, the fourth Wednesday of every month. Yep. It's a different kind of craft each time. Um, there's a walking club. We have also started a uh, soul collage club. I think we've hit just about everything I can think of at this point. Um, How about we talk a little bit about the Crafters Club? Okay, Crafters Club. The Crafters Club. Uh, they meet the fourth, fourth Wednesday of every month, and every month it's something different. We have Polymer Clay, which is in September. We also have Greeting Cards, which is in October, and Beads and Bracelets, which is in November. But we will do something new every fourth Wednesday of the month, so come on down and see what your crafts will bring you and give us suggestions. If there's something Absolutely. that you'd like to learn to do, we'll find somebody that knows how to do it <laughs> and we'll have a class. Absolutely, we're always open for suggestions. Marjan is a brand new club that we've started. Um, it is a tile game. We do teach the American version. We do have an instructor that will be here for the full six weeks and we have quite a group. So there's a lot of interesting things that go on during this game. And there's something I'd like to point out, too, that the membership is free. There is no charge to become a member. You do not have to be a Lake Orion resident. Uh, please check, again, your brochure and the monthly brochure for everything that we have going on. I hope we've tickled your fancy. I hope we've mentioned something that you're interested in. Come and join us. The only thing you really need to bring is your smile. Thank you.